This is Miss Parody, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to plot points using a table of values. The first table of values given to us here shows a column on the left with x values and a column on the right with y values. Going back to what we learned in previous units, we know that the x values often represent independent and y coordinates often represent dependent values. In a table of values, it will always be the case that the independent values are to the left and the dependent to the right. With that said, each row gives us a coordinate pair in the form x, y, or any other variables that are listed above. So our first row gives coordinate pair negative 3, 7. Then we get negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, and 1, negative 5. The table of values just gives us a list of a number of coordinates that we can plot on the Cartesian plane. So to set up our Cartesian plane, all we have to do is take each of the rows and plot those as our horizontal distance and vertical distance from the origin. The first point, we're going to go left 3, up 7, and we can plot the point negative 3, 7. Then we have the coordinates negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, negative 2, and 1, negative 5. So that is how we use table of values to plot the points on a graph. I'm going to do one more example. So given the situation that Matthew earns $12 for every hour that he works, represent this information in a table of values then graph. So I've set up a table of values here, noting that the independent value, or time, is in the column to the left, and the dependent variable, earnings, is in the column to the right. So we know that earnings, or Matthew's earnings, is going to depend on how many hours he works. So let's fill in the values for a dependent column. First we know that if Matthew works zero hours, he's going to work, earn $12 times zero, hours or zero dollars. If Matthew works one hour, he's going to earn one times twelve dollars or twelve dollars and so on and so forth. So for every hour that Matthew works, he's going to earn an additional twelve dollars. So we have our table of values showing what Matthew would earn depending on the hours that he works. Let's go ahead and put that in a graph now. So remember that independent variable, or x, in this case it's going to be time, so we labeled it t, it's on the horizontal axis, and the dependent variable, in this case earnings, is on the vertical axis. Always putting a table on our graphs that represent situations such as this one. Now we can label or plot all of our points. The first coordinate pair we have is 0, 0. We'll put that on the graph. We have 1 and 12, 2 and 4, sorry, 2 and 24, 3 and 36, 4 and 48, and 5 and 60. 